Yo, what's up guys? It's going to be a review slash unboxing, not really, you'll see what I mean, of the BGRCs. Now, there's three different units of the BGR branch. You've got the BGRCs, which is this one. The BGRVs, which is this one, but it's all black with two directional buttons down here in the cords uh, to increase or decrease the speed. And then you got the regular BGRs, which is all black and it's pretty much does not have the ceramic edge uh, blades to it it's just ultra edge metal to metal not ceramic to metal now what I meant by an unboxing this is gonna be a speedy unboxing so inside the box you're gonna find another box inside this box you're gonna find manuals the manuals is gonna show you uh, the BGRs, the different types of units. The cordless one is uh, the unit that I'm actually going to try and obtain hopefully by next week. Okay, so inside the box you're going to find a bottle of oil. Inside the, uh, which I highly recommend by the way, I like this oil personally. I, I think this oil is worthy of the money for this set, for this specific oil. Ugh, there you go individually so if you were to get this individually it'll be like about three bucks now inside the box you will also find another box and inside this small little box you will find the actual blade okay inside the blade this one comes with the triple up okay ceramic edge and there you go I personally like this mate but like finish with the silver and the white I think it's just very sexy looking now da -da -da -da. then you have the ceramic BGRs. Now, the BGRs, I personally like the gray look. This one comes with the one guard ceramic edge. There you guys go. All right. Now, um, a little uh, different fact. If you were to get, let's say, the black unit and it comes with the zero guard, um, instead of the ceramic blade, it's still you're still going to see the exact, pretty much the exact same box for that specific clipper okay so anyway I'm gonna let's already plug in then so I'm gonna show you guys how to take off the blade and how to take on the blade especially if this is gonna be your first unit in the BGR world or if you own the 76ers and you're moving to the BGRs now like the 76ers it is a rotary motor unit okay this is a very powerful unit it's a very incredible unit but unlike the 76ers you cannot take off the blade while the unit is on that's one of the downsides that I personally think they should have really fixed but it is smaller it is lighter now pretty much um, another cool thing that you could do with this clipper is if you have the 76er blades on it the non ceramic you can actually put those blades onto here now I have a bunch of them, so I'm going to be showing you pretty much how to take them off and how to take it on, uh, put it on. I mean, so you can take it off while it's off. Okay, there it is. And for the sake of awesomeness and simplicity, I'm going to be taking the zero A Oster metallic blade. I'm going to put it onto the tongue, not closing it. I'm going to turn on my unit, and then I'm going to close it. That is the proper way to put on the blades on the ceramic or the BGR units, okay? Now, you cannot take this off while it's on, and you do not want to push onto it because it will not stop. It will slice your finger. Trust me, I tried it. And I'm pretty sure you can't see that, but, oh, there it is. Okay. So, don't do that, okay? You have to turn it off. So I thought it was going to be like the 76ers where you can actually, while the unit is on, just grab it, take it off, and go on and so on and so forth. I had to learn the, the hard way of not to do that. So do not do that. Now, a little bit of a comparison, not too, not too highly detailed, but just enough, is you can tell right off the bat, let me put these bottom to bottom, that the 76ers is bigger. Now, the 76ers doesn't have a blade, so for... Just the sake of being fair, I'm going to take off the blade of this one. You'll see that the actual units, okay, that's all the way to the bottom, the BGR unit is actually smaller than the 76er, okay, which is pretty much 
awesome. Now, the BGR is also lighter, much lighter. I've used them today, okay, and this thing is light and it is powerful. It cuts like butter, just like the 76er, except not as loud, not as big, not as awkwardly holding in my hand than the actual unit. Now, when you turn it to the side, or in this case, this way, you see that the BGR actually has a small little hand bevel here okay with the actual finger grips unlike the actual 76er that has this uh, grid type of feel to it which is still a cool grip but it becomes awkwardly holding your hand especially if you're trying to clip rubber comb this one just feels a little bit more natural in the hand so that's pretty much the review and the comparison a little bit and a little bit of an, a speed unboxing so um, a couple of things before I even end the video I highly recommend this to everybody okay consumers students and professional barbers alike if you do not have one of these I feel sorry for you they will make your job a lot a lot easier now if you're a student and you're brand new to barbering or cosmetology uh, mostly barbering because yeah, I'm a barber, so um, it does take a while to get used to fading with the 76ers or the BGRs, but I highly recommend learning how to fade with the BGRs because you learn the concept of what it means to fade, and then once you use um, anything with the taper level uh, lever to it, you'll see that your tapers become a lot easier. Now these guys do have the true size to it so if this is a triple op it will be a triple op compared to a uh, magnetic motor type of unit where if you close it all the way it's not really a triple op it just assumes to be a triple op so there you guys go this is going to be the review if you guys liked it please like comment subscribe from one barber to another see you guys later